tonight we are at the scariest mansion in all of Ohio. Prospect Place. If there's actually something evil up here, can you make a noise for us? What the f is that? What the f What the f was that, man? We, we, we getting festive over here, that's all I gotta say. With the demon. On the third day of Christmas, my true luck to me. Three! Like the demon three. Okay, is that thing that scratches people a demon? <laughs> Correct! Whoa! Oh my god! All right, day two of our Christmas trilogy, Alone for the Holidays. Yep. Another day being alone, man. Guys, we're going to one of the most notorious places and one of the notorious places in our childhood. We have watched this um, episode of Ghost Adventures so many times, and that's honestly one of my favorite episodes. Tonight, we're going to Prospect Place. Prospect Place? Is that a place? Yeah, it's a place, guys. Is it, is it a prospect place? It's a location on the map. Very haunted, very notoriously haunted. It is very haunted. In Ohio, in Ohio. We're going to Prospect Place in Trinway, Ohio. It was actually a stop on the Underground Railroad, and it's even said that some of those slaves died here. Apparently, this place is very, very haunted. It has a lot of layers. Guys, look where we are Trinway. right now. Trinway, Trinway Ohio. Ohio, guys. Guys, so this is actually day two of three total days for this Christmas holiday season trilogy called Alone for the Holidays. So if you have not watched episode one, what we captured last night at the Pine Lawn Manor was absolutely dark and disturbing. Yeah, it was it was a rough night. I'll tell you that. And, and so if you want to go see that, Noah actually was crying in that video. Yeah. If you guys want to go see what happened to him and what we captured at the Pine Lawn Manor for episode one, the link is in the description. And then come back, watch this episode, and subscribe so that way you can watch the next episode, which will drop next week on Christmas Eve at 6 p.m. Eastern. Dude, we're approaching prospect place it is here we are on the map. so close we are very close dude we've been wanting to go here ever since we watched this on ghost adventures yeah and finally we've made it there's also rumors at this location of satanic rituals that occurred in the 1960s am i right yeah in the old ballroom there's actually symbols on the walls that were covered up by the staff and they put a cross on it to cover up all the things that happened oh dude, dude holy <laughs> it's right there oh it just came out of nowhere holy <laughs> Guys, just, look at it that. It actually just came out of nowhere. How oh my god, dude. the barn, dude. The barn is huge. Oh my gosh, guys, look at, look that, at that building right in front of us. And there's the barn. So there's a ton of layers to this building. The Civil War history with this, with slavery, all the deaths and the family members who passed away in this house, the little girl dying, falling off that balcony. Let's go in. We have to talk to the owners. Yep. Um, we're gonna get a tour and get the history done. Oh. Oh, here. hello. Hello. Good, Pretty good. You? Good. What are you going on? What's that? What are you guys doing? We're here to investigate Prospect Place tonight. Anyways, we're gonna go inside, do our preliminary investigation during the tour, and we're gonna let you guys know everything that we know about this building. Yep, the Prospect Place. You ready, dude? Let's go inside. All right, let's do it, bro. Let's do it. What we have here is George Adams, George Willison Adams. He was the 13th child born to George Beale Adams and Anna Turner. And he was born in the Parkier County, Virginia. Prospect Place in Trinway, Ohio was built in 1856 by George Adams. Now, George Adams was the son of a slave owner over in Virginia. However, George was an abolitionist and he decided he was gonna live his life in a new way. George himself became an abolitionist. He did not believe in slavery. Also in 1844, which we have an article about that, he started giving anti-slavery speeches about two counties north of here. Once Mr. Adams moved here to Ohio, he promised his wife, Mary, that he would build her a beautiful home and thus the Prospect Place was born. At the time, this house cost $50,000 to build, which is about $1.5 million in today's money. This mansion also has 29 total rooms and was built specifically to help free slaves from the South. So what we're in now is George's bedroom. He did oh. have his own bathroom. Okay? okay? And this was one of the first houses ever to have indoor plumbing. So when you guys do your investigation tonight, investigate in this room. And he probably passed away in here? He probably did. Yeah. photographs here. This is uh, a couple of renters that lived here in the 40s and this little girl still comes in and says I used to live here from 1944 to 1949 <laughs> 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 and 
<laughs> she actually gave me uh, some photographs wow. uh, of that. So that is in the upstairs parlor. Okay. So we'll look at that. That's really cool. Um, this house here is in Zanesville, and it is on the corner of Maple and Adair. Mary, the wife, um, when George died, she took her inheritance and built that house. All right, now we're going to go upstairs. Okay. Let's do it. Hear that knock, right? Yeah, I did. On the door. Did you hear that knock on the door when you were talking? No. Nope. There was a loud knock on the door when you were talking. Very loud. Nope. Yeah. It's, it's a little, little different. It's really cool. What? What the? Very different yeah. on this side. Yeah, yeah very. <laughs> and this room was on the servant side, and so this would have been kind of like um, a parlor or just a place to sit. Okay, gotcha. there's no closets, there's no fireplace in here. Now, back in the day when I used to do investigations in this room, um, a couple of uh, my friends, they ended up getting scratched in here and they caught growling noises. Wow. Okay, so, and we had an investigator last week that sat right where um, Sean is standing. He was sitting on the steps and all of a sudden he like jumped up because it felt like somebody put their hands on his shoulder. Ooh. So I don't know if you heard that one. Yet at all. No. Okay. This is an active room. It's an active room. Okay. Definitely. Okay. So this landing is very active. Okay. Okay. Um, I was given a tour in the daytime for this guy who had already investigated, and he told me this landing is really active. Uh, he's caught all kinds of voices and stuff, okay? And I said, oh, I'd like to hear one. So he says, I've got one on my phone. I'll play it for you. Did you just hear one? Yeah, what was that? Did you just hear one, dude? I did. I heard that. It just went, ooh. And it might have been the dog outside, but okay. I heard that one. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> so dude. Outside. That was weird. That was very <laughs> weird. <laughs> to say the least. You heard that, right? Yeah, I was like, okay. Mm -hmm. He's caught all kinds of voices and stuff, okay? And I said, uh, he's caught all kinds of voices and stuff, okay? And I said, uh, he's caught all kinds of voices and stuff, okay? And I said, I've been hearing weird voice. Yeah, we've been hearing weird things all through. Yeah, me too. Going down to the upstairs parlor. This room is really active with children's voices. Okay. We had um, our investigators uh, setting up and he was asking questions. He had this wooden duck on the floor, so feel free to use that. Um, but what he got in response to his question, what are you doing? The response was, I'm playing with my ducky. This is very, very active. Okay. Here. Now some of the hauntings that take place at Prospect Place include those of the little girl who is said to have fallen off the balcony. This little girl spirit likes to talk to the investigators and even shows her apparition at times. So this photograph here, this is the adopted daughter, Constance or Connie, some people have gotten that name, Connie, mm -hmm. um, of Anna and William. She also passed away at age 20. Now, it says she died of consumption. This is where I can use your help again, okay? Okay. Now, this door here is directly above um, the big door downstairs that you did not come in. Now, there is a legend about a little girl who fell to her death. So the legend is she fell off either <laughs> this balcony or else uh, the balcony we were just on out back, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, if it was a little girl and there was a little railing around here, you know, I could see her looking over and just flipping on over. But I've done the research. I don't know who it is that fell to her death. Now, if we're talking about Constance, she was just a little thing. She wasn't real, real tall, real big. But over time, you know how you play a telephone and the story kind of changes? Yeah. I'm wondering if the girl who fell to her death wasn't constant. Gotcha. So find out for us tonight if you can. There was an angry, malevolent spirit in the kids' room that once people walk inside of the room, it yells, get out. It has also been filmed on camera throwing cat balls out of the room. In the 1960s, this building was abandoned and boarded up for good. And for the next 20 years, it was used as a party house by the locals. People would come in here to do drugs, hide away from the law, party, and it's even rumored that people did satanic rituals upstairs in the ballroom and elsewhere throughout the building. The cross on the wall, mm -hmm. um, we've had a couple of um, shows that came to shoot here and we're not sure when that cross was put up, but the previous owner said it was the portal to hell. Um, we've had a lot of people do investigations, somebody even put flour around the base of it, 
you know, but mm -hmm. nobody's ever gotten anything out of it. George was a major abolitionist and thus the Prospect Place was a stop on the Underground Railroad. It is said that lanterns would actually be placed in the cupola of this house in order to alert the slaves that it was safe to come and hide away in the basement. Okay, so we are at the very top of the house and diagonal here is where the river is. Mm -hmm. Zanesville is that way. And for the abolitionists, they were, they were huge in Zanesville. They would send refugees and slaves up here to George and his brother Edward and um, move them on north. Um, with the river being right there, they could come by boat, actually, and get off the boat, come through the field, and come into the basement on the back side of the house here. Now, if there was a light up here, as legend goes, they would know it was safe. Okay? Gotcha. However, if you guys have a light up here, just like we do, it activates whatever's back here in the barn. Really? That's what they say. I don't stick around to find out. I've never stayed here overnight. I know, we're doing. <laughs> I know we're doing. I know what we're doing. I know we're doing. Now, because of the Fugitive Slave Act, there were actually bounty hunters all across this area trying to find refugees hiding out from the law. That way they could capture the slaves and bring them back to the south. It is even said that one time a bounty hunter was caught here at Prospect Place trying to locate slaves and a gunfight ensued. This bounty hunter was then captured, a mock trial was actually held here on site, and the bounty hunter is said to have been hung outside either in a tree or in the barn. There it is. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Um, the story goes that uh, there was a bounty hunter that came to the property to collect the slaves and take them back south into slavery. What happened, we don't know exactly, but what we've been told over the years is uh, the bounty hunter was actually taken by the farmhands and they were brought here, he was brought here and they had a mock trial of some sort and he was hung. Once there is a light shown in the watchtower of Prospect Place, it is said that a darker entity is supposed to rise in the barn. This spirit is known to be the bounty hunter and it has been caught on film showing its actual shadow. This bounty hunter absolutely hates men and adores women. What we do know is when the light is activated in the Belvedere, something in here uh, is activated. Um, what we know about it is it does not like men. Um, it does like women. I've had some people say they've gotten scratched out here. I've had some ladies that say, oh, whatever it was, they were so nice to us. So, hmm. I don't know. Interesting. All right, so you have four rooms down here, and they're set up just like the rooms upstairs, okay? Same layout. So if um, refugees came up river, they would have come in this door back here. They okay. could have taken a broom and pounded on the ceiling to let George know that they were here. So between the tragedy from George's family, the fugitive slaves in the basement, and the satanic rituals in the 1960s, this building has multiple layers of hauntings. And that is why Prospect Place is known as one of the most haunted houses in Ohio. Guys, remember, if you made it this far into the video, subscribe and click that like button and turn on those post notifications if you guys want to get notified when the third episode of our three-part series, Alone for the Holidays, does drop. Because next week on Christmas Eve, we will be traveling to one of the most demonic houses in the country. So without further ado, guys, let's get right into the investigation. All right, we are outside of the Prospect Place, Dude, bro. we've been wanting to come here forever, and we're finally here. And after the tour, I am terrified. Yeah. And I'm actually me, really scared. You left me here alone for about 15 well, minutes. Well, we had to get batteries, and Noah tried. <laughs> Tell him what you did, bro. So... Earlier, I was when I was Noah's vlogging, I door dashed um, batteries to the prospect place, but they never came. Yeah, we're still waiting. I don't see any door dashers out here. Yeah. So it's... guys, if you want to see Noah trying to door dash <laughs> batteries, join Patreon. It's on Noah's vlog, which is behind the scenes of every video. Yep. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside. We're gonna go up to the ballroom, which is where possible satanic rituals occurred and it's where there might be a demon so we're yeah. gonna start there work our way down let's go inside the prospect place dude you ready yeah let's go in one two three prospect place one, one two, two three, three prospect, prospect place let's go in just throw up let's go in okay ready bro knock mr adams okay we're now entering the prospect place that's so weird to say man we are in Prospect place right now. We're entering the ballroom. Yeah, let's go in. My name is Jake. This is my brother Noah. 
Hello? This cross was apparently painted on by a former owner. Yep. Because behind it is written demonic sayings. It's, it's not legible, but as you can see, man, look at these. See how this is symbol? Yeah, well, I mean. See how it's got the line up and the stripes? Yep. And so this cross was painted to kind of bless that and cancel it out. Yeah, which is kind of smart by the owners. Kind of smart, but it's creepy that that had to be done. Like, why did yeah. that have to be done, you know? I mean, there was a story of a demonologist coming in here, and obviously demonologists don't really believe in ghosts, and he said there was something evil up here. If there's actually something evil up here, can you make a noise for us? Did you come from this portal? It's all rumors and speculation that there was actual worship up here. But I want you to confirm that. Prove it to me. Okay, when you're editing this, I might have just saw a shadow figure run across. What? Yeah, I swear, dude. I Yeah, you might be able to see that. Are you dead serious? Yeah, I saw on the LCD this time. Over here? Yeah, right by that window. It was like shorter than that middle bar. Hello? I'm gonna place down the music box right here. Okay. If my brother just saw you move across this doorway, can you step in front of that music box? If you step in front of it, it will play music for you. Okay. Let's get out the REM pod and put it right here in front of the cross because this might be a portal to hell. Okay. So yeah, let's, let's get that, that out and see if that picks up any energy. We're gonna put this right here, see if any energy wants to come through. Oh, yeah. Do some. It just went off. Can you do that again if that's a portal to hell? That was weird. What was that sound? Hello? Can you do that again if you hear me? There's a loud knock down there. Loud. Come up those stairs. We're not gonna hurt you. We don't mean any harm to anyone. Except for the demons. We do mean harm to them if they are in fact here. But we're gonna need your help to figure that out. Can you touch this red light if that's a portal to hell? Or at least it used to be? What the f is that? What the f is that? What the f What the f was that, man? What was that? No, actually, what was that? That wasn't your stomach? No! Shh, 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 shh. Hello? What the? What the? What the? My heart is racing. That wasn't your stomach? No! I thought you were sh your pants. <laughs> no. Could that be the dove? I forgot they said there was a dove in the wall. Yeah, but where is it? I don't see a dove. Where would have get? Where do? Where, where do they get in? Maybe right here. Dovey. I don't see any. <laughs> okay, it's definitely That's an animal. In the definitely. Wall. That's the bunk, but dude. It's just a dove. No demons. Listen. That was a footstep behind us, though. Yeah. Come up to us. What was that? Something just moved really beside me. Yeah, that was by the wall. Did you hear that? It was like. It's like something crawling right there. Hello? Yeah, it's like a growl. Hello? Is that you? No. Do that again. What was that? Just hissed. That was a hiss. Okay, I'm turning my lights on. I'm that okay. was like over here, man. Hello? Who just hissed at us? Is that below us? I don't know. Wait, is that above us? That's exactly what that was. That was footsteps in the cupola, dude. Oh my god. Hello? If there's a demon here, reveal yourself. You 
heard that hiss, right? Don't want to be up here, bro. You just heard that hiss, right? Yep. I say we get our gear and keep moving on. Yeah, we got some on. footsteps. We got hissed at. Multiple but, times. But let's grab, just pick it up, and let's just walk it downstairs. So now we are on the second floor. second floor. This is where a lot of voices and things are heard. Son's bedroom. So yeah, apparently there's an, maybe not evil, but an angry entity. Very angry. That resides in here, telling people to leave, throwing cat balls out of the room. Got you some cat ball spirits. My name is Jake, and this is my brother Noah. And if at any moment you would like us to leave, just set off a device, maybe. You can try throwing one of these cat balls out of here. This far, I'm gonna get out the chronometer, okay? And we're gonna see if any spirits can communicate via the chronometer. The number nine is that how old you are? This is the son's room. Mm -hmm. Play with our toys if you are nine years old. Here, use that. Wait and see, okay? We're waiting. We'll wait, just. Can you tell us why you don't want people to be in here? I just got a really weird wave of dizziness. I was just looking at that door and it looked, you know when you see a heat wave? Yeah. I just saw that, but it was like, is it quiet? Okay. Is that why it doesn't want people in here? Wants them to be quiet? Are you trying to sleep? If you make one noise for us or make one of our devices light up, We'll be quiet, okay? Anyone in here? Boy! Is it boy? Are you serious? If this is the boy's room. Dude, this is the boy's room. Look what he says on the door. Boy's room. He said, who's in here? I said, who's in here? Boy. <laughs> 16! Dude. Thank you. Wow, thank you so much. That is insane. That's intelligent. Yes. Okay. Could you maybe tell us your name? I know you're a boy and you're 16. So my name's Jake. I'm 22. This is Noah. I'm 18, so I'm a little bit closer to your age. It's nice to meet you, man. I think we should leave this gear running. These cat balls were thrown out of the room for that guy after he left the room. Yep. We'll leave. We're leaving. Go, Mary. So a lot of voices are said to be heard in here. And we're also going to turn on the chronometer. Mary, are you in here? We listen. The more you do for us, the more people will want to come here. And the more people that want to come here, the more money they have to fix this place up to bring it back to how it was. Would you like that? Ghost box. Ghost box. Is it saying it wants to use that? I don't know. What's the ghost box? That, it... That's spirit box. Yes. Let's grab it out, dude. Might as well. Is that what you want to use? We got the spirit box. All right, so now we have the S box. Correct! Wow. <clears throat> Correct! I asked if this is what they wanted to use. Wow, that's intelligent. Okay, here we go. So we have the S box. This is going to scan through radio frequencies, and, and we're going to see if the spirits can speak through it. Can you speak to us now, Mary? Who's here? Is it James? Is it James Cox? Oh my god, it did. Is James's name Cox or is there- I know there's a family, the Cox family. Yeah. Can you tell me how- what the name of the girl is who fell off the balcony? Was it Constance? Is it possibly? Really? Is it possibly? Is it Constance? Is it Constance? Yes. Really? Is it Constance? Is there a portal to hell in the attic? Is it there is? Yeah, there is. There is. 
Oh my god. Wow. Is that- I have full- oh, I'm getting That's chills right now. Dude. Is there a demon here? Are all the spirits here safe? The attic! It says the attic! Is it really? Yes. What about the attic? What's up there? What's in the ballroom? Is it a demon? Oh it went, my god. It a demon? Oh my god. Are you dead ass? I swear, dude. What about the attic? What's up there? What about the attic? What's up there? Okay, well, real quick. This battery's almost dead again. We gotta go switch it real quick, right. and then let's go to the servants' quarters. Alright, so, took a little break, rechanged batteries. We're gonna be going into the servants' quarters up here on the second floor. This is where people get scratched yeah. by an entity, so this is gonna get intense from here on out. Yeah, we're gonna see who the f is scratching people, yep. dude. I also want to point out that if you've not seen episode one, go watch it. Pinelon was insane, and we wore masks for good reason. We went back in afterwards to get some TikTok shots, and we were stupid and didn't put our masks on. And I think that's why we're both, because Noah's feeling a little sick too. So that's. I'm so sorry. The f I'm so sorry. What? Over your voice, I heard. A, dude, you're gonna hear it if we if we go get a MacBook right now. You're gonna hear because Noah's feeling a little sick too. So that because Noah's feeling a little sick too. So that because Noah's feeling a little sick too. So that hello. Let's just let's go in here. Let's not stop. I don't want to stop before getting activity. But yeah, they're gonna see on the instant replay exactly what we caught, dude. Let's go to the servants' quarters. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so now we are in the servants' quarters. This is where the servants would have been. This is the butler's room. And let's just go straight back, man, because I'm only interested in what is scratching people. Setting the music box facing out. Whoa, 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 whoa. dude. I was gonna say right when that, before that happened, I got really bad chills. Me too. Hold on one second, I'm gonna talk to you. I'm gonna talk to you. Back away for three seconds so I know you're ready to talk. One, two, three. Thank you. Oh wow. my god. Wow. Are you the one that scratches people? Is that someone else? Is that thing that scratches people a demon? What? Why didn't it just stop? You still there? Are you a child? If you want to play a game with us, make that go off. Wow. That's what it kind of seemed like. It was like messing with us a little bit. Maybe it's not a kid though, maybe. I mean, it, yeah, it sounded it. like that was answering. Do you want to, wait, so are you a kid? Are you per, oh, okay. So are, so it's a kid? You're a kid, right? Okay. And you wanna play and you wanna play a game? Are you the one that we just heard laughing at us like ooh? -hoo -hoo -hoo? Was that you? <gasps> Whoa! I have actual dude, full chills, that dude. It's terrifying. Are you the 16-year-old boy that we were talking to earlier? It went off. Would you like to use this device that I was using earlier? Okay. Music spirit box? No, necrometer. Oh. I'm actually gonna put it over here, okay? All right, just so I can see it. It went off when I said that. Yeah. Danger! Oh my god. First word, dude. And like I said, we're weary about the first word, but that's yeah. intelligent. That's pretty intelligent. <laughs> Troop ships? Is there something up here that scratches people? Okay. Okay, back away for three seconds and I'll ask the next question. Two. Three. Okay. Again. It, it just Again, dude. Yes. Okay. Wow. Thank you so much. Okay, is that thing that scratches people a demon? Maybe you look at a man. Correct! Whoa! Oh my god! And it just went off! It just went off! I was about to say maybe the kid doesn't know. I was gonna say, is the is Oh my scared? god! Correct. Okay, so you, you are very smart. 
You're amazing, man. Did that demon come from the portal upstairs? It... Not so. Not so. What? Is the portal somewhere else? Is this the portal? In this room? Make it light up if the portal is in here. I'm trying to think, like, is this right below? I think it is. I'm trying to think, so... Are you trying to warn us? Okay. What is what is on what is on its way? Tell us through that device. Something evil. You're super cool, by the way. We appreciate you. What? There was just a man's voice that went. Oh. It was like. Oh. Sir, was that you that made that sound? Was that your voice? And it said tour. What does that mean? Tour? Did we hear you on the tour as well? We heard it on the tour. What? Synod? Synod? Look that up right now. That doesn't sound That even. sounds bad. An assembly of clergy. So it's like a church. What? A church group. Like synod. Oh my god. Go forward! It's, it's telling us to get away, bro. Is there a synod of people waiting for us? I don't like this, dude. I have actual chills and I feel like I'm gonna die. I don't feel right, dude. This is getting really weird. Are you, are you just trying to protect us? Okay, back away for a second so we can clarify real quick. There it goes. One, two, three. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Thanks, buddy. You understand. Is the Synod in the attic? True! Dude! Oh my god! No! Harold? <laughs> Alright. Okay, man. Alright. Come over here and use your voice, man. Speak into this. What's your name? What do we need to be worried about in here? Was there... Satan worshippers upstairs? Is that why this place is a dark entity? Can you come scream into this as loud as you can and tell us whatever you want to tell us? Again! Again! Go forward, walk forward. It wants us to get out. Okay, let's just listen to it, man. I'm dead ass. Let's just listen to okay, it. Let's listen to this song almost. It's the Cuts! Cuts! 1900s cuts! That's Satan worship in the 1900s when this place was abandoned in the 1960s, 70s, and 80s. And now people, people, people are getting cut and scratched. People are getting cut. Holy sh! This is not good. No, this got demonic fast, dude. We didn't even try. I don't know if it's safe to do that solo up there, dude. I don't know either. Look! Look what I just see right here! Spray paint on that door! What is that? It's just from when this place was abandoned and torn through. Okay, we move forward like it said. Let's listen to this recording, okay? Go back. This is Harold! This is Harold! No, it's just like we got in the commenter. Listen. Yeah, it's okay. Harold! Listen. Harold. So we got the name finally, Harold. That's a 16 year old boy. I wonder if there's a Harold even in the history, man. Yeah, that's I weird. don't even know. Okay, well, that got crazy very quickly. Yes, it did. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna be going and putting a light in the cupola upstairs. Yep. Which is said to spark whatever's in the barn that's evil as well. Maybe the bounty hunter, maybe a demon. So let's go put a light up there, go to the barn, and then it's time to be alone. Yep. Ready? Yeah. Guys, this is the cupola, where when it was finally safe for the slaves to hop off the boats from the river, come hide in the basement, this light would be placed in the window. Okay, we're good. Cool. Okay, so we put that light there now, and they think that that sparks the bounty hunter yeah. in the barn to start looking for the slaves. So let's go see if he's pissed off now. Yeah. All right. Let's get out there. To the barn, guys. He's coming here. Yes. Alright, bounty hunter, we're here for you, man. 
I'm gonna immediately set up the music box. It's gonna calibrate to the temperature of the air and it is thermal. So if anything comes through that's hot or colder than the air, it will let us know just like this. I'm warmer, so it will tell us. Yep. And right there, look up. That's where supposedly the body was hanging of this bounty hunter. People also get scratched in here. So everything relates around the house. Yeah. They were acting and they were kind of talking like it's all separate entities, but to me, I think it's all one thing. Is it the bounty hunter or is it a demon? We're gonna find out. Is the bounty hunter in here? Can you make one of our devices go off? If you don't want the slaves to be free, you're gonna have to go in the house and you're gonna have to push that light off that balcony. Why don't you go do that? Whoa. The grandpa just went off. It's the first time it's going off all night. Yes. Well, like, that's like the second yeah. time, but. You pissed off? Go push that light over in the balcony. We're not afraid of you. Maybe you're not the bounty hunter. Maybe you're just a demonic entity. Is that true? If you're a demon, go knock over the light right now so we know. In the name of Jesus Christ. Just lit up when I said in the name of Jesus Christ. Dude. Makes me think it's a demon if when I said in the name of Jesus Christ, yeah. it lights up. I, I think we got a couple answers when I... Oh my God. I was just about to leave. Dude. Is this the bounty hunter? If so, back away. If you're a demon, back away. Okay, why is it just consistent? Is this Harold? If you, if we should not go back in, back away. If we should not go back inside. That doesn't make any sense, I'm not gonna lie. We've been in here for 15 minutes and that didn't go off once. I've got the REM pod, dude. Let's go inside and draw the naughty or nice list. I don't wanna do that, man. So guys, now it's time to draw to see who's on the naughty list, who's on the nice list. Okay, so we're back in the gear room. Tonight has been very interesting, man. We think that we came in contact with a possible demon that is upstairs in the portal to hell, possibly, yep. or whatever kind of rituals went on in this house. So we actually changed up our game plan a little bit from the beginning of the video. We will still be going to the attic and the basement. The basement. If you're on the naughty list tonight, you are going to be going to the attic with no lights, night vision only. While the other person gets the lights, they can thoroughly explore the basement. Scrolls, have the scrolls in here, guys. Naughty nice see. list. I'm going to mix them up inside my... Uh, Thing. I don't know which is which. So I'm going to be drawing it this time, guys, and whichever one I get. Jesus Christ. Guys, pray for me, because if I get it again, that's three challenges in a row. Get one. Please, please. Oh, I think I got the naughty list. I already feel it in my gut. No, you got the nice list. <laughs> no! Yes! Bro, come on, man. I got the nice list again. Are you serious, dude? I've no. been so nice this year, dude. I've been so nice this year. Holy sh**. No, you haven't. Okay, walking Noah up yep. to the attic for your alone challenge. Yep. Happy holidays, guys. Yeah, happy freaking holidays, guys. You got this, okay? Yep. If you need me, just walkie and then meet me halfway down. <clears throat> Alright. Okay, I'll be going to the basement for the first time. Sounds good. See you, bro. See you, bro. Good luck down off. there. Bye, man. See you, bro. This is what we live for. Yes, sir. Hey, right, guys. We are now alone. Over here. Whoa. Already going off again. We are now alone in the attic. Where the demonic rituals are possibly happened. Most likely happened. I mean, what happens for 20 years? Party years, drug addicts. Come up here, party. Can you back away from that? Thank you. All right. This is the door that heads to the basement. This is where the slaves would have entered. All right, that's the worst sound in the world. Who's up here with me? Are you Mary, are you still here? Mary, hello. Can you back away, Mary? Thank you. Whoa, I heard a tap over there. I love basements, man. Wow, yay. So this is Christmas. The show goes on.
This isn't the best place to be right now. It's a good place to s sing loud for all the de cheer here. See, I'm done. I'm gonna get the REM pod out and I'm gonna set it up where the shadow figure was captured just last night. God damn! Jesus Christ. Holy shit. You ever been scared by the HVAC? Huh? On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Do you like that song? All right, can you back away? Okay, thank you. Want me to, want me to keep singing? Back away if you want me to keep singing. Sounds good. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Four hundred. Huh? On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Two French doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the third day of Christmas. Any shadow figures want to peek around a corner? Seven piping pipe. Oh wait, four piping pipers. Three hench hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. Okay, so this is where the slaves would actually be held. There would have been beds in here, a nice fireplace. It's very depressing to think about, but. This might have been the nicest room that these people had. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows. I'm almost getting a little dizzy in here and stuff. I don't know why. Maybe the dust. Just checking in. Is everything okay? Yeah, I'm doing okay, bro. What about you? Yeah, do you have anything crazy yet? We, we getting festive over here. That's all I gotta say. You're getting festive with the demons? No better way to do it, man. Just show them with love. Kill them with love, man. Three turtle doves and a partridge and a pear tree. So I'm getting out necrometer. Emily. Is your name Emily? You can speak to me through this. Can we keep singing? We want to. I just heard footsteps. Come up the stairs. Wow. Intelligent. That's just getting calibrated. There we go. Whoa. Hello. Hello. Yes. Let's go. Hey. Is anybody downstairs? Can you make a noise? Oh, I heard a f knock. Wow. Right on the stairs, dude. Right out there, bro. That was crazy. Was that you? Yeah. Thank you. Can you touch that red light for me? Can you go upstairs? Whoa. It just went off. And guys, look, I am in airplane mode. I was going to ask if you can go upstairs and give my brother a scare. He's in the ballroom. Is there a portal upstairs? I want to know who's here and if there were actually ritual... I said, are there portals? It said it was an accident. Oh my god. Three! Like the demon three! Like the demon three! And there's a number three on the freaking wall right there. Spray painted. Show me some action. I feel like I'm gonna regret that. Thank you. All I know is I'm scared, dude. It is so weird down here. Trust me, bro. Me too. I'm ready to get the f out of here. Whoa! That was not me. I did not touch the walkie button. Noah, Noah. What's up? What's up? Why don't you come on down? Uh, my camera's at 7%. And um, we've been at this a while. <sighs> Victory is here, dude. Thank God. I'm so ready to get out of here, honestly. Victory is here, guys. 
We've made it. Solo in the demon attic. You did it. So glad to see Lonnie. Yes. <gasps> Let's end this. The camera is low. Yep. And we have a long drive home because we have to prepare. Because next week, we are traveling to the demonic Sally house. And we have to go get ready for that. That's going to be the darkest, the scariest, and the most intense investigation yep. we have ever been on. But guys, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, you're in the middle, literally the exact middle of a Christmas trilogy called Alone for the Holidays. Guys, also make sure to become a Patreon member so you can see what Noah's been filming the entire night behind the scenes on Noah's vlog. Yep. And uh, what do they need to remember? Guys, remember, anything is possible. You hear me? Anything is possible, even when you investigate one of the most historic and haunted places in the world. We'll see you in the next one.